not. Okay, all right. So learning from previous incarnations of your 10 years on this show. Yes. I feel like now at the outset of an adventure is a great time for you, the GM, to differentiate your approach to what the three stats represent. I absolutely can do that right now. All right. So body is physicality. It's the easiest one. Right. Um, if you're trying to lift something, it should probably be body. If you're trying to throw something, it should probably be body. If you're trying to... And thematically, that's all we're going to be doing, right? Because Just bodying people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, I under- do, I, do I get a bonus stat for that? <laughs> just you want to caress someone's <laughs> face gently with the back of your knuckles. Would that also be body? I feel like I'd be psyche because I'd be really creeped out after that. <laughs> so this is the thing. So understanding, I think that says more about you than anything if you're like well, have an immediate aversion to affection, but we can well, get into yeah. that later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll get into that later. <laughs> so I've never uh, told you what a good GM you are. Please don't do that to me. Please don't. Oh, do you not like compliments? Positive reinforcement is not something we should deal with right now. Man, you got good style. Ugh. Um, <laughs> understanding. Just sit a little is, closer down on the couch. Understanding <laughs> is. Oh, that doesn't matter to me at all. Oh, okay. Right. It's the emotional shit that gets me. I'm German. Come on. <laughs> do, 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 do not talk to me like that. Um, understanding is a fundamental breakdown of like mental. Understanding how people's like mental states work. So that'd be like if we had to use uh, stats that are common in other like tabletops or video game stuff like that that'd be charisma yeah yeah um, like oh i misread the situation yeah. understanding okay. is literally understanding the world, the world around you and psyche is nice. like <laughs> breaking <laughs> if, if, if understanding is that surface level ment- mental stuff psyche is the below the surface level that's going into like mind game the mm-hmm. weird underwater fucked up shit that if you brought it to the surface it would look like those weird blob fishes that people kill horribly by the like, oh, right. look at its funny nose. It's like, that thing's dying right now. <laughs> You're gonna look you like should probably hair not hair. bring that, you should probably not bring that up here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, isn't our entire adventure going to be underwater shit? In this case, yes. Mm. Hey. And so, yes, my next question actually splits into two further questions. Have, has everyone here heard of Atlantis? Space shuttle, mm-hmm. of course. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. definitely that. And not the underwater city that Plato brought up as a theoretical concept and people have used for conspiracy theories for like two and a half thousand years now. No, oh, man, you should do your research. It's, it's out there, man. <laughs> no, it's, it's real. I'm pretty sure the Union Army burned it down in the Civil War. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Uh, the other question is, <laughs> has everyone here heard of Power Rangers? Hell yes! Yes. Because these are both you... very important to today's oh, story. fuck yeah. Nice. So, a little bit of a background first, because for those who haven't heard of Atlantis, it's very important that they hear what Atlantis is. Mm-hmm. Nice. So, okay. I should probably get my... Uh, I'm excited for the Power Rangers part. Get a little sip here first, because I need my GM. Is White Ranger going to make an appearance? Oh. Maybe no, I should no, have no, here. No, here. Yeah, make yeah. It. No, no. Uh, uh, they kept putting on a hood instead of their helmet, and I got really uncomfortable really fast. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to do like, this, like, this new like sleeveless hoodie thing. Yeah, it, just, it didn't look good. No, no. The 90s were a different time. Yeah. You got frosted tips. You got frosted tips and you can't come anymore. <laughs> you got frosted tips and you can't what anymore? You can't come anymore. It's crazy. <laughs> the, the two are actually co-related. Yeah, he frosted his tip. He didn't, like, yeah, he didn't he just do can't it do it anymore. <laughs> he got fro- he got real bad frostbite. He can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, like, yeah he lost his wiener. Speaking of frostbite. Just, like, <laughs> just sealed right over the top like a callus. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I learned today about the concept of like a smegma fetish. Ugh. And <laughs> this was, I mean, um, the extremely <laughs> private quote hit server that only me, Nicole, and Josh use on Discord. Um, I was posting some extremely terrifying things in there, and I could not bring myself to post the smegma fetish. That's fair. Bad. I You're actually welcome. appreciate. I appreciate you more for that one. You're welcome. Um. So, speaking of Spagma, let's get back to Atlantis. <laughs> <laughs> Good segue, John. Well done. Thank you. Yeah. I feel like that was the smoothest segue we could have ever had. Yeah, yeah. Um, Good transistor. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you. Was it twisted? No, let's not talk about corn. That's like, <laughs> no, we should not do that. We should talk about corn. Um, Go ahead. Atlantis, the oh, city cool. of legends. Since Plato saw it sink into the sea 2,300 years ago, it long caused adventurers and conspiracy theorists alike a lot of time and ink to search for and write about. A devastated ancient city struck down by hubris, a technological marvel hid under the sea, 
these theories and more were tossed around. However, the answer was one much more interesting. When the year of our Lord, 2019, came around, a man who fell overboard drunk off of his yacht was rescued by a strange vessel. You see, the captain of the rescue vessel explained, vessel, come on, Josh, <laughs> get sober, explained, that the elite at the time of Plato actually really just hated that Athenians had started to move en masse to the island and wouldn't stop gentrifying it. When a business owner saw a sign for Diogenes' doggone good chicken, he knew that we had gone too far. And so a 10-year project to just dig the underside of the island out began. And after that 10 years came by, we actually... Someone had a hemlock poison hallucination of how phase space worked, and they were able to create a shield that when they buried themselves underneath the sea, they wouldn't drown. This is all very historical. I spent a lot of time reading this. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, after spying on the year uh, on the rest of the Earth for about 2,300 years, the Atlanteans finally figured, you know what? Capitalism seems to really be working for the people above the sea, we should emerge again and join in on this thing. Oh, no. <laughs> don't do it. It's a trap. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't tell me that they had, like, a matriarchal, like, totally egalitarian society beforehand. And you're like, this sucks. Yeah. It's so boring. It's peaceful. I hate it. Man, those motherfuckers got iPhones up there? Yo, <laughs> have you seen a fidget spinner? <laughs> They're so cool. I've been following Elon Musk on Twitter, and it really seems like we need to... <laughs> It's like a wild party. Yeah, this seems what I want to do. Yeah. So it's true that Marx have failed to consider fidget spinners. It is true. It is one of the hardest <laughs> things that, uh, that uh, Engels and Marx had to contend with is that at the time they had not discovered fidget spinners and thus uh, dust invalidating cap dust capital yeah. is actually outdated now because fidget spinners exist. Now. Yeah, because they're sweet. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I mean, when I was doing a and D thing at a friend's place. I was literally like spinning it in my hand while I was like DMing and I felt horrible about myself. I'm like, I'm just, this thing is just so much so fun. Amusing. I know. I know. <laughs> You're so a fidget spinner person Sorry, now. now. I, this is, well, this is like four years ago now, but yes, I was a fidget spinner person by virtue of it was in the DM kit and I couldn't stop using it. Yeah. Whatever. I was like, <laughs> we're, I, remember we're at, I think we were at a, were you there when I threw Alan's fidget spinner? Oh, that was extremely good. Yeah. Like we were at a festival. This is um, extremely relatable uh, for everyone who's for watching the, the bullying thing as well. Yeah, <laughs> but, right. It is bullying. It's very relevant to our yeah. topic. Let's talk about that. Yeah, but like uh, we were at a festival and we were uh, a friend Alan got the fidget spinner. He was the yeah. first guy to get the fidget spinner. Oh, okay. and of course, like the meme at the time was just like they they're lame, yeah. right? And uh, and he like had one. And I was like making fun of him the whole time. Before it. I was just like, "Ooh, I'm Alan. I have a fidget spinner." <laughs> like so <laughs> relaxing and stuff like that. And then like. We were all like, it'd been like, we've been doing this for days. And then, like, we we're standing by the fire, we're all just chilling. And he's like spinning it. And I like leaned over to Alan, like, hey, man, I'm sorry for making fun of you for the fidget spinner thing. <laughs> like, can I try it? He's like, yeah, sure. And he like gave it to me, and I just like threw it into the fire. <laughs> oh, my <God. laughs> oh my God. No hesitation at all. He's like, dude, what? <laughs> I was like, I'm yeah. so sorry I had to. Like, I don't know. <laughs> No, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so obviously have... capitalism worked great for Atlantis. Yeah, and, and friends. And everyone, uh, <laughs> really. Uh, and they, they've noticed that, like, well, yeah, it's great to be able to get, like, video games, iPhones, um, that really specific type of cheese that you need to put on your eggs benedict for it to taste really good. Mm, that one. Yeah, mm. that definitely that one that I know. Um, it's very good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling a little targeted because I made you eggs Benedict this weekend and I didn't put cheese really on it. Was that no. a hint? No, it was actually it your eggs Benedict were amazing. And yeah, uh, but you if you're ever, if you're ever a special cheese on it, if you're ever make it hung, good. If you're ever hung over after a wedding and at Nicole's place, uh, she will make you an amazing eggs Benedict. But what's the cheese? Uh, I don't actually know. Uh, yeah, what true. is the cheese actually? Uh, I need to know. I figure That's goat cheese would probably taste really good in eggs Benedict. Yeah, right. I would say so. Yeah, I think I, I, I think I'd, I'd, I'd even say, fuck with cheddar. I think yeah. it would be fine. Yeah, well, that'd be a good time too. Regardless, <laughs> on top of all these amazing. Josh is like, stop. <laughs> stop no, interrupting. No. 
I'm so I'm sorry. sorry. I totally this, this is the you, exact way. energy I want right now, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Um well, can I ask a question about this world? What's that? Well, because you, you mentioned marks and angles, right? Yes. So my question is marks and angles. What is this? My geometry homework? Yeah. <laughs> Cause angles. Well, and it's my homework, so it gets marks. Uh yes. I didn't even actually put on that one. So thanks for that second one, because mm. I didn't actually get it. Um we love explaining jokes here on the program. <laughs> well, that's the best way to actually have a joke is that yeah. it not actually be funny until you actually like spend a long amount of time explaining it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like it's my like how the show is not funny until we get to episode like 12, 13, I'm going to guess. Probably somewhere around there. What that, episode are we on now? Eight? I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess episode 20. We're going to get funny. One day. That's probably One a day. more yeah. achievable. We might even, we might even have better audio equipment by then. What could you be better than this setup? This is true. Yeah. This is very true. So, on top of these wonderful delicacies we got, you, of course, get those less fun aspects of capitalism, such as... Like what? Like venture capitalists. Oh. <laughs> and massive property owners. Both of which who have started to move in onto the scene. Now, before we go any further, I actually need all of my characters here to introduce themselves and i only think it's fair because ian's sitting to the left of me that, that he starts first. yeah totally all right so the only only thing i knew about this is like it's in atlantis yes and i don't, I don't know how this game works or anything or what if it doesn't matter, matter. okay it's cool. all good yeah. all right um i'm my name is merman um Perfect. i am a merman <laughs> excellent <laughs> um i am top half fish bottom half human i love it yep. and uh uh, Merman is a tailor and owns his own business called Fins and Feet and specializes in Merman apparel. Perfect. Um, my, I was allowed to have one thing I bring with me. Yes. It's a sewing kit. And uh, uh, unique talents I put down is uh, uh, I'm, I'm Mormon. Excellent. I love it. So my, I'm Merman the Merman Mormon. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kelly, because you're to the left of uh, Ian, you can go next. Sure. Uh, my character's name is Smegma Glands. <laughs> Smegma Glands. Yeah. That's what you can bring in, man. Uh, definitely that, and not because I for neglected to make a character and have been trying to make it over the course of the show. Yeah, totally. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, so you're just Smegma Glans, no descriptor or anything like that? Well, Smegma Glans is an adventure capitalist. Adventure capitalist. Oh, fun. Yeah. Um, I'll make so, sure for the space there. Yeah. So he's got, uh, he's got a bumble profile in which he, he talks about how he loves adventures. Yeah, um, makes sense. And he's really proud of it. He feels like that's really unique. <laughs> um, he's never met anyone else that likes adventures. He thinks this is like new, <laughs> like un untrodden territory perfect perfect yeah and so and um so okay wait so is he, are the atlanteans merman or is he like a different species he's like you know how originally humanity was one strain of sort of like the ad hominems family tree yeah the ad hominems family yeah tree. ad yeah, hominems yeah. that's Absolutely. definitely what yeah. it means i know what you mean yeah and definitely not me just trying to remember basic biology of the Top of my head was yeah. drunk. You don't speak Latin, Josh? What the fuck? It's, what kind of GM are like, you? I spent way too much time researching vulgar Latin the other day and I'm still traumatized from it. So <laughs> uh this is sort of like like learn. Neanderthals split off from Atlanteans who are totally just like oh, okay, yeah. hominid at yeah. this point. They're all like they're people, yeah. people and then yeah. maybe they they used to be like kind of mermaid yeah, and then and they're like mostly things, people. Yeah, things just got yeah. really fucked up after they started like inbreeding with everyone else. Yeah, yeah. So, and then the the bottom half human, top half fish was just a uh, just a regressive dream. Yeah, gene. <laughs> yeah, okay. just 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 a regressive. Oh, a, trait. Uh, uh, it's like a double recessive. Yeah, yeah, it's a double recessive. Yeah, yeah. So like, like oh, you could be two humans, and then like <laughs> it's like, man, I I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, you guys should not have gotten married. <laughs> yeah, it's a fish boy. <laughs> All right, so Bumble Profile, Adventure, I have that written down. Okay, cool. I guess my response to what my character looks like is um, like a regular, like a very typical looking uh, Atlantean, but just like nothing going on in the eyes. 
Just dead eyes, eh? Yeah, like that Tom Cruise, Mark Zuckerberg, thousand yard stare. Perfect. <laughs> and um, yeah, like like I, I would say extremely generically handsome. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like you never be like, oh, this this dude's hot. You just you go like if you had to critique their appearance, you'd be like, no, that's like that's a person. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I'm like I'm sort of like a like a Josh Hartnett of Atlanteans. And uh that's uh that's a reference that the Gen Z audience won't quite get here <laughs> because I think that's the last time Josh Hartnett was relevant was when we were kids. <laughs> mm. Am I wrong? I don't know who that is. Uh did you ever watch Pearl Harbor? Nope. Good. <laughs> <Isn't that bad? laughs> Pretty sure Josh Hartnett was in there. Yeah, I think so. Someone once told me that my brother looks like Josh Hartnett, so which is funny. That's how relevant he is. He is um in high school, girls thought their girls thought he was mentionable. So there you go. Uh, that was noteworthy man. Fifth like thirteen years ago. God, don't <laughs> so moving no. on. The way Smegma dresses, it's just sort of obvious he just like goes and buys like brands like he's, he's just he's just he's like brands. he's, oh, he's like, like normcore yeah. yeah like all right those are diesel people like diesel i should buy those jeans diesel, yeah right it's oh, like 100 his entire fashion sense. i just want to quickly mention what I, what clothing i'm wearing if that's cool yes. sorry you're interested. You uh just like beautifully tailored tailored dress pants ah perfect but that's it just pants yeah, so <laughs> gotcha. i mean you're fish on the top so you don't need a shirt right exactly right but no, some I mean, some some whole... some top half fish people do, but I don't. I don't. It's like yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm like you just specify that you're like kind of counterculturing. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like I don't buy into this whole shirts thing. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Yeah. All right. No, I, I, would I don't say make sure. Feel free to inject. Ideally, the entire remaining hour will just be diversions about our characters' backgrounds. So that all the stuff Josh is preparing can just be rolled over into next week. So just so that I'm stuck here a little bit longer. And your character will just walk off. Well, I'm just saving you work. Because that, that is something I do enjoy, saving myself work. Mm -hmm. uh, Nicole, your character. Well, I didn't finish my character. Oh, you didn't? No. You have more about Smegma Glands? Yeah. He's not just average and buys diesel? Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we could just leave my background at Adventure Capitalist and flesh it out later. Um, but my unique talent is... Okay, yeah, I don't know. What's my unique talent? I don't know. Paige, what's, what's my unique I mean. talent? <laughs> Wait for the teleprompter to update you. Oh, yeah, oh, teleprompter. Paige, what's my unique talent? Oh, she's muted. Big shrugs. Uh, oh, let me unmute her. Uh, oh, you can do. You can make that face <laughs> with your hands. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh no, my unique talent is that I can impress people with how like good my business card is, like an American psycho. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I've just got a really sick set of business cards and anybody that's involved in business, like it helps me charm them. My god, is that off white? Mm -hmm. No. Nope. <laughs> <And white. laughs> yeah, HL white, nice. Mm -hmm. But we're under the sea, so my business cards are teal <laughs> and you know, de depending on Depending on how you look at them, they kind of shift from being like blue teal to green teal. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm. And for inventory, my character uh, has a ventriloquist dummy named Endo. Oh, we're back to the Endo thing, oh, are we? I, God I, I damn no it. <laughs> Have you had a puppet named Endo before? Oh, who can remember? There's <laughs> there's no there's no way of watching the old episodes, Fuck. so we'll just have to kind of Yeah. All right. Just have to move on from those. I don't know which is which is a better name, Angina or Smegma at this point. Ooh. Uh, I mean, uh, I feel like my aims only improve over time. That's kind of my journey. It's it's like a uh, nomenclatural fitness journey. Uh, <laughs> I don't get fitter, but my like character sheets do. The okay. gains, the gains that I'm concerned with is my name game. <laughs> yeah. You've had Personally, hard I. <laughs> I think Angina was better because it like kind of sounds like a woman's name. Like it's like Amelia or like Angelina. Oh, but it's yeah. like Angelina. Whereas Smegba is like just very clearly Dick Cheese. <laughs> Smegina. Smegina. Nice. Well, no, like Smeg <laughs> Smegma is like John down in Atlanta. So that's the thing. It's a very common name down there. Oh, okay. Sorry. I didn't realize. I think it's calm, blessed one in Atlantean. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. The one of seafoam. The one that smells of fish. <laughs> Nicole, your character's name. 
So my character's name is Dr. Gillip McCrawfish. So you can just call me Dr. Gill. Um, Ooh, I basically, <laughs> yeah, I right. basically look like a blobfish with a mustache. Um, and I'm always wearing a suit, even when it seems weird. Um, I'm a Southern businessman. Um, I basically, um, I exploit people that are struggling with mental illness by, I host a show, um, where I shame them for their mental illness for profit under the guise of offering them psychological help. Um, I just, I just, it just came to me. I was like, yeah. I, I don't think we're just based something. off of anyone. Yeah. So wild and out there that like, definitely no one else has done it or like, I'm yeah, not any uh what they what do they say in stories any resemblance to any um real character yeah. is completely oh, coincidental yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. coincidental yeah. or intentional <laughs> <laughs> and um, do you have anything in your inventory or a unique ability oh i forgot to put something in my inventory but i'm gonna go ahead and say that in my inventory i have an expired psychology um license or a, oh, yeah, a, an expired ex uh, license to practice psychology in the state of California. Um, and for special talents, I have um, finding loopholes in laws. Um, nice. Yeah, again, totally just off the top of my head, not based on anyone real, just I'm a writer, so everything I write is fiction. I feel like I could have been a doctor with this chicken scratch, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Could you have been Dr. Gillip McCrawfish? I mean, could have been. I, I could have been because all you have to do, tell, do is tell people to get real and yeah. But no, there. when you say when you tell people to get real in this universe, you're spelling real with two e's. Oh, that Ooh, makes sense. Yeah. I like it. You need to get reeled in. <laughs> yeah. You're out of control. To get like caught and impaled and brought to the surface and eaten. Exactly. That's how you fix your life. That's yeah. how you're you're bringing yourself into the world that way. Maybe real it is like the opposite. It's like you're <laughs> you're losing it, man. Yeah, maybe you get real. It's like, hey, get real. Yeah, get real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. <laughs> get real. Get real. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> All right. So, despite the fact that you are all very different people in both physical appearance and trade and personality, you've somehow found yourself brought before the president of Atlantis. Hell yeah. When I say brought before them, they haven't appeared in person. They're a little too important for that. However, their giant projected head is in front of you. Oh, nice. And they say, it's you three that I have selected today to save Atlantis. M me? <laughs> but I'm a simple manfish. <laughs> we usually get teenagers for this gig, but uh, most of them have <laughs> left Atlantis for uh, greener shores. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a problem. And I look at the... I look at the hot. Fair. I, I look at the people beside me and I go, what were you thinking? <laughs> that voice is part of the creative license as well, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Love I it. was just it just felt like Dr. Gill to me. I just came For to For some me. reason. <laughs> I'm really excited to watch you maintain that voice over the next however many sessions. Probably a month. <laughs> oh boy. I say this to somebody who has never picked a voice for the character they regret and can't maintain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Jenna, right. how we miss you. So, he goes, in times of trial, Atlantis has looked to heroes to save the city from sure and certain destruction. <laughs> By that you mean teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> well, who else are you going to trust to save the world? Yeah, right? Oh, God, I see where this is going. That's where the Power Rangers <laughs> yeah, come no. in, isn't it? Are you going to be shoveling snow? <laughs> God. <laughs> shoveling snow. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck. Fuck. Or if you're going full Mennonite, go fuck thee. Fuck thee. Are you guys going to eat your pizza? Or? 
I mean, I'll get to it. Yeah, I'll get around to it. I'm gonna freaking not jam my face full of pizza while I'm trying to DM. Yeah, because really? I've jammed that's a, that's my a face full job. of pizza for an hour now, and it's great. <clears throat> while most traditional threats to Atlantis have been those of war and trial and tribulation, today the real fight is against gentrification. We've got European venture capitalists and American landowners attempting to just hostile takeover the entirety of not just the communities, the suburbs of Atlantis, but the entirety of Atlantis, even the inner city, <gasps> the only place where property is still affordable to our young people. <gasps> And to the fishmen. And the fishmen. That's where I come from. <laughs> no, that's where I live. You've got to help. I've got to help you. So, today, we're going to present you all with your own heroic garb, your own super suits. And. I swear to God, it's a fucking shirt. Lose <laughs> my mind. That's some very bad news for you. As the panels behind them slide open. You see skin tight helmeted suits. <laughs> Hell yes. Is is mine it's fish size. It's suit. fish okay. yeah. It's like is it fish shaped at the top? Is it fully fish shaped or it's like half and half? It's got the half and half. How does the helmet does the helmet just like around, am I like it's like a bulb? It, at the... it like you sit over your head and there's like like a gill vent going out the front and out the back. Okay, because like my eyes are on the top of my head, right? So is it like a fishbowl? It's literally a fishbowl. Okay, because I can, because I, I need to see. You can see all three six. Yeah, that's your that's your true secret ability. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got three sixty degrees. Yeah, I have a, I have prey vision. Like I can only see what prey sees. Uh, so yeah, these are your uh, skin sight. <laughs> it's almost like as you see happen, <laughs> you can. Sorry. You can hear like a nineties a nineties like teen rock song playing in the background. What is it? Like? Like? <laughs> Someone just fucking wailing on a guitar. Are they really in danger? It feels like that was uh, pretty chill. Wait, 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 wait. Let's get to the part of the song where there's lyrics. <laughs> yeah. We just need those 90s lyrics yeah. coming our way. <laughs> Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I thought that like the lyrics in those days were pretty slapped together. Like they, it's oh. it's like they weren't even writing the songs, caring what the message was at all. To be fair, you know I was originally Go -Go Power Rangers was thought out. No, I'm talking about this 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 Pacific Atlantean. This, this uh, oh no, I think all of them were like Coke ideas. I was, I was like, like, Go Go Power Rangers. Or like they're turtles, they're green, they're mean, and it's like, <laughs> you know? look, look. Wait, is that what you think the theme song to Teenage Mutant Turtles? No, no. Was? Teenage Mutant I mean, Ninja Turtles. I mean, that's like uh, Dragon but, Ball Z, uh, where they're just like, we're just gonna keep saying Dragon Ball Z yeah. over and over again, and that's now our opening. Right, which is why it's the worst show in existence. But Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles told you exactly what the fuck was up with its lyrics. Those were carefully crafted. You don't have to ever have nice. Oh, Jesus <laughs> nice. You don't have I to live, ever I live with the dude, bro. It's fine. Into the middle of the show, no context, but as soon as the episode opens, you know that Leonardo leads. You know Donatello does machines. You know yeah, that Raphael is radical. Cool and rude. Yeah. Cool but rude. And you know that Michelangelo is a party dude. Well, I didn't know that because I was poor and only had two channels as a kid, and you never them. watched the like old '90s Ninja Turtles movie. I never oh, it was really good. I oh, mean, that yeah. whole that whole era of where it was just like '90s. 
It was really ripped things beating up stuff like yeah. street sharks, Teenage Mutant oh, Ninja man. Turtles, yeah. Spiker Mice from Mars, Mighty Ducks, Mummies Alive. Like well, in the both, they only got like weird knockoff Saskatchewan versions of shows in which like the like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they're like they're all green. They're just like wearing like Rough Rider outfits and they the got melon heads. Like, melon heads. Yeah. Anyway, moving on to the story. <laughs> yes. Anyways, um, I was originally gonna say, did you guys know what Super Sentai was? And then Nicole made that weeb joke, and I realized that I wasn't able to actually say that anymore. I had to say Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. So thank you, thank you for taking Super Sentai away from me. I'm sorry that I make a joke about you being a weeb. I'm, I'm not sorry, but I'm I acknowledge <laughs> that I make a joke about you being a weeb every show. <laughs> I just thought you guys were bringing up the Super Sentai thing to bully me because it's a thing I got into the wall for in the first episode for not knowing. But I Did mean, I surely mention... Josh, you were watching the first episode. I I was totally, and no, the Super Sentai reference. Mm. I do. It's it's literally like Super Sentai was just what Power Rangers stole the footage from, and then stuck white people in the live action parts. Like oh, all it's the like combat you see like in Power Rangers. Rangers. Mm. No, like all the combat you see in Power Rangers is like ripped off. Like it's literally stolen footage or bought footage from oh. Super Sentai. Like, <laughs> Man, nobody's gonna watch a show unless there's white people in it, Josh. Have you and one token black TV guy. Or? And one token black guy. Yeah, just, wasn't Blue <laughs> Ranger like? Wasn't he added in later? Maybe I, I Blue Ranger. Wait, so who's yeah. the token black guy in this show? Uh, well, that's a good question. Maybe one of our guests going forward. Please do not black face the character. I, in... I, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Please I mean, do not do well, that. I mean, shows and smack his voice. Yet. Yeah, me I neither. Could, really, I could yeah. dig deep in this well in oh, terms of. Please, please do not. All right, Chad. <laughs> it's funny though, as you guys just start to put on your outfits, a very obnoxious alarm starts to sound in the background and the president looks panicked all of a sudden he goes atlantean warriors there's someone invading the island and a screen lowers from the ceiling and in staticky you see what appears to be a backhoe transforming into a giant robot and digging up the land in one of the poorer districts of the atlantis city center and it says, after 10,000 years, I'm finally free! <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. That was a, that was a Power Rangers reference for y'all. <laughs> yeah, that reference absolutely landed with Slam me. dunk, yeah. The person who has watched so much Power Rangers. I mean, I like the idea of backhoe being trapped underground for 10,000 <laughs> years. Right. It's like, what? Aren't you recent? <laughs> Weren't you guys invented in the last, like, 75 years? Oh, how little you know about the <laughs> <Yeah>. world. <laughs> Please, the Atlanteans had fucking phase space generators 2,500 years ago. That oh, glow is the world's oldest profession. <laughs> yeah, do we have, like, a fucking, like, sad, like, whistle noise? Like, <laughs> jokes like that? Yeah, absolutely. We should. It's just the technical difficulty screen. <laughs> no, I think it's this one. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> wow. The producer is producing over my production, which is very upsetting. <laughs> the mighty have fallen. So, <laughs> being slammed into your comically large transport vehicle that could probably fit about seven people, but seems to only have three in it at the moment, hmm. you zoom towards the encounter. Wow, well, okay, I guess yeah. this is what we're doing. Now, you got, got you got conversation time before you get yeah. there. So oh, at this okay. point, I, I'm probably being, I feel like I'm being railroaded and finally choosing a voice for my character. You definitely are. Okay, all right. I'm open to pitches. Uh, you're pitching to the wrong guy here. I've got to come up with enough voices for all the characters oh, in my story. Oh, I want to make a slight alteration to my character. Yes. Uh, the top half of him is a halibut. A halibut, <laughs> yeah. all right. So both my eyes are facing forward. Yes. And uh, I'm just very flat. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. You that. can't be uh, in here making changes to your character just for the hell of it. The well, hell he can't. <laughs> <laughs> DM says, like, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like looking yeah. kind of like with my very narrow tipped head with my two <laughs> eyes right here. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty crazy, eh, boys? I don't know what. So Dr. Gill says... I'm a little distracted because I'm trying to pull my diesel jeans over my Power Ranger suit. 
<laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, I can fix that. <laughs> I I let you try and fix it. I, I, I try to fix this. You're going to alter? Okay, that's yeah. going to be a body roll. We're going to get our first roll here. Yeah, yeah. Gotta, and I am a tailor, so yeah, exactly, this, should right? be, this should be good. <laughs> this doesn't come from my understanding of pants. Uh, <laughs> it should be two dice, by the way. Oh, two dice? Yeah. Sorry. No, yeah, I fully agree. I mean, you understand pants. It's not like you're like wrestling the no. pants into existence. But I have a negative under, on understanding. So. No, no, your body roll. This is okay. Okay, all right. How does this work? Okay, you'll yeah, you'll let roll. me know. Yeah. So we so got plus one. five plus one, so yeah. six. So you successfully, as if like m- magically moving these pants around, you managed to alter them in a flash of scissors and sewing to fit <laughs> our, over the Power Ranger suit. Yeah. So now it's just like, uh, I'm going to call you the. You're going to be the Yellow Ranger. Mm-hmm. So you've got this yellow top with Can't the yellow helmet. I can't believe you helmet. would say that just because my character is Asian. That's fucked up. I know. It's really <laughs> fucked up. Almost as bad as the actual Power Rangers writers. Mm. <laughs> and, just wait till you hear my character's voice. And dark <laughs> dark blue diesel jeans. Maybe yeah. a little tight over it, but they fit. Nice. So everyone can know that you still wear diesel, despite oh, the fact you're in your Power Rangers. Uh, I, I do do this with my human feet. Yeah, because fins. Yeah, fins aren't so great yeah. with sewing. So, so. I have very dexterous yeah. toes, and I like. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'll fix it. And I'm like, scooch up to <laughs> him. You're and like and flopping like... over to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. That so was a got... very minor alteration. Um... Of... <laughs> yeah. Actually. So yeah, now you have uh, diesel jeans fitted over your uh, your Power Ranger suit. <laughs> Doctor Everyone... Doctor Gale says, "Gee whiz, is there?" I sure got a whiz like a racehorse. Is there a is there a toilet on this thing? And goes wandering around like a very toilet. That's fair. <laughs> very very integrated into the oh, role playing experience. Tacit. Yeah. I also just ripped off the snapback of my hat, and I'm having trouble fixing. Okay, so it. I finally clear my throat and go. <clears throat> All right, guys, who's driving? That's a very wow. Good I want to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hot voice. Damn. That's also a very good question. Who yeah. is? driving this. I so I lean in really quietly to Merman and I say it's just the jeans bro and then I kind of like saunter away waggling my hips towards the, the I don't the know joysticks? Is it yeah. joysticks it's joysticks yeah right. you ever driven a forklift before Do you, no who says this Wait, Wait are you to... asking me as a GM or is yeah. this oh, like, okay. as a person have you ever driven a oh forklift? okay I was just like so it was like I a co-pilot. Like, getting, so you have... I spent <laughs> yeah. several months getting told I would uh, get taught to drive a bobcat, and then like ensuing we probably get a raise, and this didn't seem to ever happen. Okay, uh, well, it was implied. But I've nearly been dropped out of a like a big boom lift if that helps. Well, that's pretty exciting in yeah. and of itself, but exciting does not have to be a positive thing for the record. Mm. Um, but a lot that's of that's how these... I explain my. <laughs> Sexual techniques to my partners can go on. <laughs> a lot of these bobcats have like a single joystick for like steering, yeah, and then one for like the bucket. So it's like that basically. And you're not entirely sure what the second joystick's for yet, but the first joystick appears to steer the craft. It's on autopilot at the moment. Do you want to attempt to drive it? I, I yeah, absolutely. That's what I thought I was doing already. All right, perfect. You you've hopped behind the the metaphorical wheel. And I'm just like kind of there back by myself. I'm just like, I don't. It's like everything he, he says, I hate, but the way he says it really makes me. So, so damn jeans. So damn jeans. I should have made them so tight. Ah, you got the wee <laughs> mask perfect, bro. Yeah, he said two joysticks, so. The two waggles. Listen, I'm a prop comic, all right? Like, I just. No, oh, fair to... enough, fair enough. So. Uh, Wait, so the left joystick is the main steering one? Uh, yes, the left one would be. There you go. Yes. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so, uh, I'm glad you're really into it. Yeah, totally. The right joystick launches bowling balls or what? Well, we don't know what it does All yet. Right. I push the button. You push the button, and it says that you do not have sufficient um, access to activate those particular features yet. Uh, is this like fucking DLC? Are you going to make us pay for the rest of this? <laughs> Microtransactions for the rest of the campaign. Oh. I don't like this. I know he was just talking about how to turn your passion into monetizing, <laughs> but that's what I'm trying to do to you guys, not the other way around. <laughs> no one ever expects the Inquisition. Mm. 
So you notice how he just like quickly just yeah. like flashed his shirt up as he walked by the camera. <laughs> also, if you're grabbing more beer. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. What do you want? Uh, a beer. Okay. <laughs> Um, so Dr. Gill wanders out of the washroom and goes, hey, just, oh, yeah. wow. Some of, of us threw a bunch of club sodas in when I asked him to put beers in. I didn't actually put those club sodas. I noticed that there's a lot of club sodas. So. Those were, uh, those were all you, buddy. <laughs> Anyways, you wander back from the bathroom, Nicole. Oh, I wander back from the bathroom and I go, uh, wow, what, what seems to be going on here? What, what, ha- what seems to be the problem that we're trying to solve? I say that. The craft drops through the clouds that exist in the Atlantic uh, Atlantean skyline for some reason that doesn't make any sense. It's like mid-ocean cloud. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just, okay. Yeah. They drop into it, and you see. Well, that's a fa- very active fella right there. Oh yeah. Just like you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Well done. <laughs> Good job, man. If you look at his notebook, he wrote down that joke like. I was like, "How did you do that?" Like, yes. Literally, yes. Like, wait, like, wait for it, wait for it, wait, yeah, for, yeah. It, wait for your moment. Uh, and you see this giant, like I said, transformed robotic backhoe. So it's now basically like in like a humanoid form, and it has like a scorpion tail, but it's like a backhoe bucket. Oh. And it says in a voice, "You rangers won't stop me from developing this land for." Middle class property. You might be right. We've literally been doing this for four minutes. <laughs> well, I want to re- like kind of clap back at this backhoe robot using the intercom function, but I think yes. it's currently locked out to us. So I guess I'm just gonna try to communicate by moving our our little boat around. All like right, it's the only thing I'm allowed to do right okay, now. Okay, so. uh Let's see. What would that? I think I'm thinking I'm gonna make that. Again. I want to kind of. Okay, here's what I want to do. Yes. I want what do you to, want? To like do? we're in like a little like submersible, right? Yes. I want to kind of like rocket back and forth towards the thing as if like I was an animal, like like a bull, like pawing the dirt, be like, "Huh, you want to go? You want to go?" All right, all right, all right. All right. So that's going to be a. I feel like it's a mind game. I think it's a mind game. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with understanding on this one because like it's like. The, the base level, like, sort of, like, toxic masculinity thing where you're, like, puffing out the chest a little bit. So mm. if I could get an understanding roll from you. Uh, you yeah, the, yeah, give me some dice that currently have, like, five or sixes showing on top. I feel like that's good. For that's me. good luck there? All right, well, that's... I see a five on this one, so I'm going to get you that one. Because we're underwater, right? They're going to roll less and probably just kind of sink. So I will give you these two dice that I saw a five and a six on just for you, Kelly. Oh, that reverberated yeah, more that's, than I planned on it to do. So my apologies, audience. Hold on, let me get my lucky. Ah, your lucky roll board. My there lucky dice catcher. Fuck you. Well, that's not bad. Actually. That's not bad. What do you have there? I forgot I wasn't, this wasn't out of 20. Um, <laughs> wait, what kind of roll is it? It's an understanding roll. Oh, that's a plus one. I got a 10. Yeah. You got a 10? Fuck yes. Oh, that's, that's, that's an is. incredible roll right Absolutely. there. Oh, nice. So, oh, right it is. So like you have driven this kind of craft for years now. Uh, don't show the camera. Oh, oh, don't yeah. interrupt him. Come on. <laughs> you're they, to me. <laughs> they dip and dive doing this dance of provo- provocation. <laughs> of just like, provocation? come at me, bro. A provocative dance, you say. Oh, mm-hmm. That's a one way of intensifying the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I try and breed with the robot. Well, yeah, this is what I've learned from the show so far is that, like, for a really, for a kind of a professional relationship, as we obviously have with our nemesis, because it's our job, it needs to be sexual. That's, that's, if, it, if there's one thing I know about corporate culture is that you should make it weird as soon as possible so your secretary gets used to it. Oh, that's a terrible joke. I should not have made that joke. <laughs> you, you, you should probably be a secretary. <laughs> like, put that moment in that would just be the first thing that plays as soon as you go You should not have made that joke. <laughs> um, yeah, anyways, uh, moving past the tacit condoning of sexual harassment at work. Maybe we can entrap him. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, you feel free to expand on it if you want. Like, I don't think that that's going to be... What are your thoughts be... <laughs> on the roles of broads in society there? <laughs> I don't feel like this is going to get me any further. So instead, mm-hmm. I'm going to talk about how well you maneuver that ship. 
to basically tell this backhoe. Oh, girl, the way you do that shit. <laughs> yeah, you baby, are un- that, that, that backhoe is me. unable to take your movements than anything else other than a challenge. Back it up, ho. Back it up, sorry. Okay, I'm not <laughs> You're okay now? Oh, shit. That's... So, <laughs> it's like. It's okay. We're not laughing. It's acceptable. <laughs> that means my jokes are fine yeah. and they're not uncomfortable. <laughs> Let me we'll see this show. Isn't that right, Paige? <laughs> glass yellow. God, I didn't even think about that. Fuck. <laughs> I need to drink extra. This is, this is the kind of effort that Paige is putting into production right now. Just absolutely killing it. Uh, Where are we? What's happening in this story? Is he is he attacking us? Or like he, 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 he assumes a battle stance. Oh, okay. And as he slams his two feet down on the ground, you see that they have two tires centered perfectly on the feet so that he can zip forward very quickly if need be. And this is all underwater, so if we right? Yes. Out, if we just... Well, well. so the, the thing with Atlantis is that, like I said, there's a phase space shield over it. So you're in like... Normal gravity? You're in normal things? gravity okay. and normal okay. stuff like that right now. All right. So this robot, if we just wait him out, it'll fall asleep, right? Because it's too tired. <laughs> it's got four <laughs> tires, though, man. Two tires on each foot. Oh. Like, roller, like cool rollerblades. Yeah, like rollerblades, man. Okay. <laughs> So this, this is, is like, the nineties. This man. is like a, a a backhoe developer kind of thing. Does he look like a businessman? He doesn't look like a businessman. Uh he's like the the lackey. Wait, is this a robot or like a mech being conducted by a pilot? That's a very good question. Oh, yeah, that's a very good question. Can I? Okay, wait. Can Do I, I have that? any understanding of the nuances of robots and mechs? Do you? Should I roll? For it? Yeah, yes. sounds like a <laughs> okay. I roll to see if I can figure out whether this person has a pilot or whether the robot should be gendered. I got an eight. You got an eight. You remember from an old Atlantean mechanical class that you took as a, an elective and dropped in the second semester that generally mecha have to be piloted by a person or multiple persons. Oh, sorry, what did you say the plural of mech was? Mecha. Okay, I turn my head towards it and pray. <laughs> Spelled differently, my friend. <laughs> what, wouldn't the plural be mechs? No. No, it's not. Mecha? It's mecha. In what language? In, yeah. Have call, you guys not watched any Gundam? It, no, I, I would call it mechs. We're not weebs. The plural <laughs> is short for mechanical. <laughs> Can we keep a tally? Paige, are you keeping a tally of how many weeby things Josh says? Can we, like, post that it's at the there, end of every video? Wait, <laughs> Nicole, how many things do you think Paige is keeping a tally of right now? <laughs> Just well, the hopefully weeb. everything. Well, oh, th- wait, there she is. Hi, Paige. Cheap back. Yeah. Here, hey, I'll put a tally. Anything. That's what number three there. Sure, mm. at least, at least weep count. So, so yes. So it looks like it's piloted. I decided yeah. to give an inspiring. Wait, yes. Yeah, so what was the result of my roll? You were you you remembered from your um, one semester class you took of Mecca Max. breakdowns. Yep. It's not Max. Fuck sakes. <laughs> and uh, you remember that there has to be generally a pilot or multiple pilots in. A mech. Mm-hmm. I turn to my crew and I give an inspiring speech. All right, now listen. I know we come from a wide variety of backgrounds, but on this ship, we speak Atlantean, and the plural of mech is mechs. <laughs> and out there, I only see one mech. <laughs> but it's probably about as many as three pilots. And there's three of us, which means. It's going to be a fair fight. And there's no one I'd rather have a fair fight than you two. This weird condescending uh, doctor and half of a fish. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> that that label? Yeah. Fish! Fish! Did you hear him yeah. say fish? <laughs> no, I'm going to need a battle plan. Any suggestions? As much as I'm insulted, I still want to have sex with you, but... <laughs> I believe that's called nagging. Oh. <laughs> 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 wait, 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 wait. 
Did the voice change since we started? But, uh, I don't know. <laughs> this is where it's at now. This is where we're going to be. Uh, so, um, didn't, nice didn't, eyes. didn't the president say we were Rangers? Is this sub a, a mech? Can we have a mech fight? Is that yeah. what we're supposed to do? Or um, yeah. I don't Dr. Know. Gil says, I Dr. Gil says no one's stuff. going to develop this land dead. unless it's me. I'm right. going to exploit these people in this land. <laughs> That's very helpful, Dr. Gill. <laughs> I, say, I, I used to, I, I talked to a lot of teenagers in my day, and uh, they all had a lot of issues, um, but they all talked about this Power Rangers show, um, and their, I know that their ship turned into a Megazord, and by their forces combined, they were able to fight a lot of bad guys, and... Uh, Speaking of a lot of sense, turning... Dr. Gill. <laughs> Pardon? You're speaking a lot of sense, Dr. Gill. I'm sure that one of these buttons here can uh, turn this thing into a giant robot, and uh, we can make Zord the fuck out of this thing. Yeah, I, like, look around for, like, if there's, like, three keys or, like, <laughs> any sort of, like, three switches or something like that. All right. Um, there's two, like, human, there's two, like, hand-shaped things. And, and like, one fin. Triangle. <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> thing. <clears throat> well... In order for you to do that, I'm going to get you to roll an understanding. Yeah. Now, as a Mormon fish, <laughs> um, I got six. You got six. All right. Atlantean Mormonism is just as ridiculous belief that this, like... No, it's just this Mormon. Jesus, <laughs> yeah. Jesus, who had no guild, was completely born in Atlantis. And was like, yeah, Hang exactly. On. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where are you coming up with this? Well, no, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus did not have gills. <laughs> I'm not sorry, fish. Josh, you were saying something Fucking important. Utah. <laughs> God damn it. Salt Fish Lake City. True story, I stayed in Utah for a night, and the first night I was there, I had dreams that I got inducted into a cult. And I was like, this is a prophecy. I'm just a Mormon now. <laughs> I need to leave Utah. <laughs> I need to leave right now. <laughs> um, so you, uh, you, you look around, and you don't find anything that immediately screams transformation into a cool mech. But Sorry, you do you mean transistor into a cool mech? Yeah. No, that's different. That's transisting, transistoring. We're going to transistor into one cool mecha. Is that You're going to be transforming is a different phrase. Yeah, mecha is opinion. actually the plural, so it'd be one cool mech, Kelly. Just a <laughs> quick Yeah, mecha is correction plural. there. Oh, there's no way I got that wrong on purpose. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you would purposely troll me on this show mm. during my game? Mm. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Unbelievable. Mm. Anyway. audacity. What you guys see, instead of something like that, is just one giant glowing red flashing button. Hell yes! That not one person can press. It's too big for that. <laughs> it's almost like it needs three, well, two hands and a fin to slap down. What if we just had, like, three hands? Like, I push both hands down and I'm like, Dr. Gill! Push it with one hand. Well, that wouldn't work, obviously. It what? Oh. Is this like a weight-based proposition, or like, is it a... It's a plot device-based device. Oh, this looks like a plot device, and I bring in Merlin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Merlin, your voice keeps changing. You're fucking me up. No, that was my fish, fish part. <laughs> <laughs> that's his that's his mother tongue guessing, guessing, guessing wait so when the air. fish part talks it sounds like that so I'm hearing the human voice where's that coming out of out of my ass <laughs> <laughs> it's an important note I should probably take that down <laughs> you, 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 you have impressive pronunciation is there a tongue there as well <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I don't know what Merv's anatomy is there. like oh. <laughs> <laughs> um can I roll a constitution? <laughs> well, you're all body, which is basically constitution. Okay, I, I, I resist. Wait, are you rolling a constitution about the tongue? To... <laughs> so are you, you rolling you, a constitution you about the body? Uh, resist getting uh, tongue, but just barely. In the middle of in, in the middle of a very well, I stressful didn't say I tried situation. To do it. I was just hinting. you're suggesting it. Oh yeah, but in a pretty yeah. seductive way. I feel like you're resisting right? the urge to the boss. Is what you're resisting. <laughs> Can I? <laughs> oh, you already rolled it. You succeeded. I'm just you know. okay. I'm just, I'm just All right. backseat GM. <laughs> so you see this giant red flashing red button. I said red twice there. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be glowing it's and twice flashing. The red. red. It's very red. Double red. <laughs> it's so red, you guys. It's, fuck this. It is, is red. It is meant I, to draw your attention. I look at him like, oh, so red. <laughs> <laughs> 
Does anyone notice this button? <laughs> I'm just trying to fucking the button. I can't even yeah. say anything. <laughs> Everything's just, just gradually. And like, we just like hand. all like intuitively are just reaching towards it. <laughs> and I, I, I put a punch on as as your <laughs> as the tips of your fingers and Finn graze against the button. Oh. It presses down with almost no Great. effort at all. And it's like a guitar riff starts playing in the background. <laughs> And the camera pans out as the ship begins to configure and transform. Perfect. Oh, okay. That works perfectly. That changed the part Never been a guitar. Huh. Well, it works. That's the end of game song. Oh, well. Oh, well. That was done. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what time it is yet. How much time do I have to work with here? Oh, I'm so over time. There's like a timer right there, isn't there? Is there? Yeah. I yep. We've got oh, five minutes. I got five minutes. Perfect. What? I can make this happen. Is it possible to plug? Oh, wait. You... Oh, sorry. You're finishing it up. Yeah. No, it's okay. Because, like, we don't have to actually hit the battle today. We just have to get the transformation sequence all done. And as you both land, the camera switches to, like, a landscape profile where you see one mech here and one mech here ready to battle. And what happens is how can happen happen next week. <laughs> oh, I feel like we accomplished very little. That's, <laughs> as as someone who plays a lot of tabletop, yeah, that's how that. Works. That's how yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how that works. Like, you press the button. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, I am I am a man. Or